Hi, my name is Luke and I work at Western Tractor. Today I get to talk to you about another group of our unsung heroes that work here, namely our truckers. To show you this, I'm super stoked to be able to hang out with one of our long-standing employees. Around here, he's affectionately known as Trucker Ray. Let's go see what he's up to. This is a customer's unit that needs repair. Dead in the water, it won't move. We're out here to load this thing up and bring it to the shop to get it fixed. That's it, ready to go. talk to us more about what our truckers do for us every day, I'd like to introduce you to Dallas Smith. Well, hi guys. I'm uh, Dallas Smith, General Sales Manager here at uh, Western Tractor. One of the reasons that we chosen to, you know, not only invest in our drivers, but also invest in our fleet of trucks and trailers and everything else is how critical they are to the job that we do every day and how critical they are to our customers. And these guys, they go above and beyond. You know, they take a lot of care when they, they have that piece of equipment on their trailer. They treat it like their own, making sure it gets safe and on time. These guys, it doesn't matter what time of day, night, uh, what time of year, they more than gladly jump in a truck at any time and get it there. Our drivers and our, and our trucks are so critical, I guess, to the entire process, specifically around sales, but also around service. An important timeline to get that piece of equipment in if it's used to get it reconditioned so that we can get it delivered to our new customer or if it's a new piece of equipment coming in from the factory uh, getting that thing set up and PDI'd and getting that delivered to our customer but it, it really takes a lot to keep that whole chain of events moving and all that equipment running smoothly not only is it the things that they do every day as far as logistics to actually move it around but it, there's a lot of communication involved and communication is key to providing superior customer service and, and they do a great job of that as well. They're letting the customer know when it's on the way but also letting the salesman know when it's on the way and communicating with our shops to make sure they can line up their loads in a, in a timely fashion, they can get the most done in the day and be the most productive too. Yeah, our drivers, when they pull up in that customer's yard, they wanna make sure that that piece of equipment is delivered how it was supposed to be. 
the windshields aren't dirty, the cabs are cleaned, and the level of professionalism that they show in making sure that this stuff shows up the right way is, uh, is what keeps us proud. One of the important parts of you know doing any job, but specifically when you're working around heavy equipment, is the safety aspect of it. Our drivers, they've had a lot of training, not only around commercial driving and being safe on the road and keeping an eye out for everybody else that's on the road, but also for the equipment that was on board their trucks, right? And the safety that involves, you know, loading and unloading and tying that load down and securing that load to make sure that nobody else on the road is hurt as we're transporting that. And those, those drivers do a lot to make sure that what we're doing is safe. These truck drivers, they just don't sometimes get the recognition that they deserve because of all the things that they do in the background that nobody sees. So just wanna give big thanks to our truck drivers, for the safety, everybody's families come home safe, that they come home safe, and that our equipment is safe while it's on the road. So thank you very much. So thanks for taking the time to watch this today. I want to thank Ray and Herman and Jeremy for letting me film them while they worked. I also want to thank Dallas for his explanation of what our truckers do. A takeaway I get from all of this is the investment that Western Tractor has made, not only in customer service and making sure that equipment is where it needs to be, but also in safety. Everything from the heavy hauling trucks themselves, to the pilot vehicles, to the training, to the high-vis clothing, to the blinking lights and the two-way radios, all that works together into something really great that we got going on here. So thanks for watching and take care. I want to send a shout out to John and Christine McKee for letting us film on their land when we picked up the combine for them. <laughs> a movie star and a director in our yard. Who would have thought? I was going to back up to the other end of the trailer and deploy the winch. Deploy, what a great word. This is white. More than gladly jump in a truck at any time and get it there. Yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> I just lost the train of thought where I was going right there. Yeah, I'm just trying to think real quick. But... Don't, <laughs> don't record that. <laughs> I'm gonna make you look awesome, Jeremy. Yeah. Nice and slow. <laughs>